about yeah. right here, a little bit lower actually. Okay, we're gonna go inside. So if we go up to E, then we can get 300 feet of drop between E and C. We got we're it. here at the base of our creek, and we can see just by looking at the lay of the land that we're gonna have a good bit ahead. And uh, we're trying to get a base measurement, and then we're gonna go to the top and see what we read up there. Top number is our elevation. Bottom number is barometer. And we found a place we want to test the flow. What we have to do is divert the water in a way that allows us to channel it into the bucket, and then we're going to use our bucket method. Could lift it. Yeah. You know? So that was, that's not a good method. Both of these are limited to about six foot. So the inlet that we've identified is at the intersection of two streams and it is up this hill and up this road. And as you can see the creek right here is fairly level compared to the, the bank. So this would probably be a good place to take our pin stock out of the stream and bring it up onto the road. It's likely we would run the first section through the creek. It would be possible to run it all the way through the creek, but in case of for maintenance and installation, it would be much more expensive and time consuming. So we're going to be looking at this road as a possibility for using our pin stock or a channel to run our pin stock down. We're just measuring with this measuring tape distances in order to figure out how far we're going to measure. We've got a hundred foot distance and as you can see this is a clear channel through the woods and we would probably run our pin stock right around the edge of the road in order to keep it uh, out of the way of any kind of vehicles that might come through here and we would just go to where Katie's at put the measuring tape down walk another hundred feet and continue that way until you got to the bottom and then you would know how long your pin stock needed to be 
Side assessment is no joke, as Katie can tell you. Walking down the creek with the measuring tape. How was that? Fun! <laughs> These are typical kinds of features that you'll encounter in a small stream. It's a good display of a gain in the head and elevation, but also a challenge when it comes to running pin stock and doing surveys of streams. <laughs>